switch to a smaller jig. Finally, come on, just be a bone. Yes. There we are. You're back on. It is going off right now. Oh, that was like me yet the other day, dude. That's a good one. Oh yeah, real good one, real good one. Come on, stay on, stay on. Yeah. That's up there. Don't tangle my braid all up again. Yes, sir. He's fat. Perfect. Popped off. Bonito. species for me. Check out the eye on that thing. No teeth. You can tell it's a very uh, ocean going fish. It, it's a pelagic fish. This is kind of a small one. 15 inches. Let's see what he looks like. Pretty fish, look at it. Stripes. Plain 
jig tail, super fast, strong. kidding me? Has pin bones all the way through, it's a mackerel. <clears throat> but look at that fillet though. My fillets are getting nice, man. Just saying. So this is my last one. It's my biggest one I got. This guy could have won the pool for biggest fish, but somebody caught like a, like a 12 or 13 pound bluefish, like a gator blue. It's kind of crazy. So real quick, I'm just, I just threw some chub mackerel in the pan. I got some oil, butter, and some uh, hot peppers from my garden. And I put a lemon pepper, a little bit of lemon pepper on there. I'm just, I'm just cooking it real quick. Also, I made a pizza. All right, guys. There's the chum mac. It's all done. All right, guys. I'm gonna try it. Looks really good. Wow, it's really good. That nice little crust on there is banging. It's not fishy at all. Really good. It's kind of like a, a really, really mild bluefish almost, but with a really good taste. I like it. Alright guys, there's our nice Bonito loins. I did flash freeze these. I threw them in the freezer for like half an hour and then took them back out to the fridge. Just in case you're, if you're worried about doing this, that, that kills at anything living inside of them. But these fish are pretty fresh. You don't have to worry about that really. So I'm on, uh, I just rinsed them off real quick and I'm just going to clean them up a little bit. Get rid of a little imperfections and then uh, slice it up as yeah, sashimi. So I'm just going to take off like any little dark spots that's a really nice piece um, the tail end the pieces by the tail like that it was, it's really tough I'll just cut them off because these fish are so fast and strong in their tail uh, a little chunk a little skin there a little dark spot don't want any of that Dark spot. 
another nice piece of bonito. Little plug line there. Dark spot. This meat is really pretty, man. All right. Ready to start slicing. All right, so I just like to make slices like that. Try to make it look fancy. But um, if you're a big sushi guy, or sashimi guy or girl, and you love it, and you're able to catch one of these, this is the way to do it, man. It's so much better than cooking it. Um, if you don't like sushi or raw or sashimi, you can cook them too, and they, they taste really good. But I'm a big sushi guy. Sashimi is my favorite. So obviously, I'm going to like them more like this because it's so good, man. It's really close to tuna. Just melts in your mouth. Super fresh, especially when it's fresh like this. Like this is as fresh as it gets. All right, just make it look fancy on the plate. Just kind of get that. Check out how pretty that is. Put a little wasabi in there. Comment below where I may have, may or may have not stolen this from. What restaurant is that from? You know you know. Soy sauce. That's it guys. What do you think? Would, would you eat it? Does it look good? I think so. Let's try. All right, guys. Look how good that looks, man. A little wasabi. A little soy. Whoops. That's so good. Like, I love it. Man. Tastes just like tuna. Definitely try it if you catch a bonito. They're a cool, they're one of my favorite fish now. I'm glad I caught some. Thank you guys for watching, man. I appreciate all the likes, comments. If you subscribe, it's cool. Thank you. Yeah, man. Until the next one, we're out.